I don't think this video is going to be very long. Um, once I show you what it does, it's pretty clear. Um, so we have a JD08 with an initialized tone. Then using the JD800, I can take control of that and start programming it from here. Then if I decide I want to just get on with it, press data transfer, yes, data gets transferred. We have a completely new patch from the J800 dumped directly from it. I have uh, some circuit boards that I've had printed up and another prototype that I need to test. Um, and after that, it's ready to go. Um, so you can transfer sounds from single or multi-mode directly across the JD08. You can only program it from single mode. And I'm in the process of adding, it's nearly finished, um, also adding um, the ability to dump sounds from the JD800 into a Jupiter X or Jupiter XM. Um, I'd say that's 95% complete. Um, both have limitations, mostly down to the effects. Uh, the JD08, JD08 doesn't expose many effects at all, so you can't really transfer many across. There are also the limitation that um, the velocity, time velocity, time key follow and after touch aren't exposed via MIDI either. Um, so that is a bit of a pain. It means you have to do that by hand. But the main, the main sound gets transferred across. And with the Jupiter XM, um, it's mostly it's just the effects A section, so the modulation effects, but the reverb and delay should be sent across. And that's it. You can indeed control and program a JD08 from a JD800.